Hi folks, my name is Matthew Harrison. I'm a farming system scientist at the University of Tasmania. In this webinar, we'll be comparing, will we, I'll be showing you how to compare observed data with simulated data in AppSim Next Generation. And the reason you want to do that is often you might have field data of observed biomass or phenology or yield, and you want to compare that in AppSim uh, with the simulated data. So it's very, very useful for putting external data in an Excel spreadsheet into AppSim. What I've done here is I've just opened up a default maze example. Uh, to do that, you just go home, you open an example, uh, you double click on, you go to your AppSim directory, program files, you double click on maze, and up comes the, the maze example, which is there, uh, and then you have the simulation tree. So I've just modified this essentially, so I'll close those down. Uh, now I go, and I've renamed it maze observed data, and saved it to my AppSim directory. You have to save it to your own directory because AppSim won't run examples from the C drive. Now, everything here is pretty much as in the example. The only thing I've done is I've copied the existing report, renamed it, and created another one. So I've renamed report harvesting and report daily. The reason for that is this one is outputting a variable yearly. This one is outputting a variable on a daily basis. And the, the only difference between them, the variables are, as for the example, this one is coming from the maze component, so it's saying report once on harvesting. This one is just reporting phenology uh, and the clock, and the reporting frequency, which is this component here, is coming out at the end of the day. So that end of the day is coming from the clock component. That's what the square brackets mean. Okay, so everything else is pretty much the same as the example. Uh, now the other thing that you have to do is go to your standard toolbox. You navigate right down the bottom here to data store and analysis models. You copy this Excel input component, copy. You go back to your simulation and you paste that on data store and you hit paste. I won't do it, hit do it here because it could mark up something. Uh, then you rename it observed. And then what you do is you navigate to your Excel file. So to do that, you hit these little three buttons over here, and then it will bring up a directory. Then you navigate to your Excel file. So for me, it's in, it's in my Excel documents, uh, and the name of my Excel file is maysimdata.xlsx. Now, this here, these two components here are the names of my Excel tab file, tabs. So I've got one called biomass and another tab called phenology. Now, I'll just see if I can open up my the Excel file that I created, just to give you an example of how that looks, because AppSim is quite touchy about syntax, so you have to have the variable names exactly. And, uh, capital, it doesn't worry about capitalization, but spaces uh, have to be exact. So this is the, note I've got the biomass tab and the phenology tab. Now, the, these names here have to match exactly the spelling, not so much the case or the capitalization as that in AppSim. Uh, and it's okay if you don't have data, as you can see there. This here, the simulation name, you have to have simulation name, uh, has to match exactly the name of your simulation. So if I go back here, I've called it Maze Sim. Doesn't, don't worry about capitals, but it has to be, the name has to be exactly the same in every single row. So it will, it will read data from every row for which it finds maize sim in this sheet. So it's scanning all of these cells provided that it's the biomass sheet. Now here's, here's my dates. So it has to be in the format year, month, day. Uh, and then I have my observed data. So in this case, my observed data is above ground biomass, but I've got it in the nomenclature of, of AppSim. So it's, uh, it's maize.aboveground.weight. And the reason I've got it like that is because that's how the app sim, and to know what the variable name is called, go to report, and there it is there. So it's maze dot above ground dot weight. Don't worry about the brackets because that's not part of the output. Okay, so that's what I have for that one. Then I have, that's on an annual basis. Okay, so you might only be interested in a number annually, but you might also be interested in a number on a daily basis. So what I have here, is in fact uh, the phenology, the, the phenological stage of maize, 
measured, measured on a few dates. In this year, for this season, we had more measurements of May's phenology, so we've got more data. In these seasons, we've only got one phenological measurement, not ideal, for May's in each year. But oh, the more measured data you have to compare with your simulated data, the better. Again, I've started off the column with the name of the simulation. Very important, you have to have that first, and it has to be called simulation name. Now I've got clock.today, which matches the output file, maze.phenology.stage, which again matches the name in the report daily of the the corresponding variable in AppSim. Okay? Now AppSim what to get these data in AppSim is a bit of a trick. You have to run AppSim first. Well you have to first go to the data store, go to observed, load <coughs> load your data, and another point that you note here I've got an error. And it basically says you can't have app, you can't have Excel open when you run AppSim, so it won't show your observed data. Okay, that's fine. I'll go back here, close it down. So I've shut that down. I'll run again, and hopefully that error doesn't reappear, or it will be a little bit embarrassing. And so that means it completed. Uh, it's probably good practice just to check your simulation log. Go down to the bottom, make sure there's no errors. Simulation terminated normally, that's good. Uh, we then go back to your, so we want to compare, I didn't do yield, but I did biomass, okay? Now this is what it looks like. So in this case, we've got a pretty good fit. Normally you get a much worse fit than this. Uh, so I've done two different colours here. I've done a simulated is the orange, yellow, and the observed is the blue. And you can see the variation in biomass between years, but generally that's quite a good fit. But the whole point is to compare the observed with the simulated, which is what you want to do. Now to get that, you have to have two of these nodes underneath this graph component. So the first one, note that I'm reading it from the report. Well, it should, shouldn't be report, it should actually be harvesting. So it should be coming from this one here. So that was a redundant term, probably probably from a previous simulation. The X variable is clock today. The Y variable is maize above ground weight. Uh, I'm plotting the simulated data as this colour here. You could do it any colour really. You could do it green, for example. You can see it changes. Uh, show it in legend, yes. Now I've got my observed data. Okay, now note that my data source is biomass. So the biomass corresponds to the name of the tab in the Excel file. Okay, so it's AppSim has recognised the names of my tabs, and that's because I've specified it here, biomass and phenology. Okay, go back here. It's got biomass for a start. I've specified the colour as blue, and then you can see the two plots. And so it's quite useful to compare them both on the plot. Now, that's annual data. Now, you might say, well, what happens if I'm looking at uh, daily data? So this is what I've done for phenology. Now, this on first glance, this looks a little bit messy. But if you look at it uh, for a few minutes, you'll actually see that, well, it's not that hard to understand. So really, it's just got, um, we've just got simulated data as the orange-yellow points. Uh, so I have simulated phenology, and that's coming from report daily, which is good. So it's coming from this one here. The X variable is clock today. The Y variable is May's phenology stage. Note, note the name corresponds to not only the AppSim variable, but also the one I put in the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, now we have our observed data again plotted in blue. You can plot any colour you like. I've renamed these by the way, so to, to create these you just again copy and you put it on there and you paste. Okay, and then you go in there and you can re you can specify each of your components. I'll just delete that one out. Uh, and so then we can see, for example, for this first year for which we have more data, we have quite a good fit. Uh, and in other years, so the graph itself is jumping, is joining the dots. Technically, these should be, they shouldn't be joined plots. So do we want a line? No, we don't want a line, so we click none. So it's got rid of the line. So it's not connecting the lines between years, which is more appropriate in this case. And you can see there, in these years, the simulated phenology agrees quite well with the observed phenology. Technically, we want these points to align exactly, but if it aligned exactly in all cases, you potentially have got a problem because it's, it's, it may well be 
you know too representative or it might be there might be a problem with the data because you shouldn't ideally you shouldn't get a perfect fit um, because of simple simply because you're dealing with a biological system and you usually get a lot of variation uh, in your points so you don't want it to fit exactly ideally you should put should put error bars on these points to, to see the variation around the mean and then fit your simulated data to the observed data in that way so that's how you load observed data into AppSim and you can do it with pretty much anything and everything but make sure you get that syntax in the Excel file and matching the name of what you have in matching the the appropriate variable corresponding variable names in the AppSim file that's all for today and thanks for watching